show you how to take this hundred thousand dollar mistake and not pull the gas kit. You focus on getting it done. There's nothing I can do about it. It is what it is right now. Tearing apart these brand new worlds. Who's to blame? To my fault, their fault, city fault. I don't care. We have to get this done. So, so, so this happens every week. We have problems like this. But Mike's stupid, and we got another contract. All right, bye, another. It got sent out. Let's wait. Hey guys, so man, you see how our day started off? Hectic morning. I'm gonna tell you, owning real estate, like own a lot of real estate, so there's always something. Walls collapsing, roofs getting blown off, units flooding. When I say upset, I just can't. I can't go through the emotions of getting upset. I can't live my life being angry. If I got angry about stuff like this, I'd be angry every day. I'd be a miserable person to be around. Right now, we're doing a hotel. It's 145 room. The drawings were drawn out. The city gave us the okay to close up the wall. If I was closing up those walls, I would not have closed those walls up in as-is condition. It's called as-built. When we did the drawings, the renderings online, I don't know who's to blame, but it cost me and my partners money. This is why I gotta run my own projects, man. You guys get the fire blocking done. Yeah! No, you didn't. No, you didn't. I knew this was gonna be a problem. Or I, I ain't saying new. But I'm about to go up here right now. Me and Zach just got off the phone with the inspector. I'm about to go up here right now. And we, he said that if we can show that the existing wall meets or exceeds the code, that he's going to give us a pass on it. So I'm about to go out here and rip out one in the third floor uh, where the guy's staying, where Keith is staying at. Zach on it. We just got off the phone with the guy. He got the guy. Hey, Zach, Zach a pimp. You know what he said? When the guy was like, well, you know, I'll look at it. He said, hey, man, I really appreciate you working with us on this, man. And the guy said, well, I didn't say I could work with you. And, then, and Zach was like, that's what I heard. I appreciate it. I was like, hey, <laughs> well, I got other people to answer to. He said, well, we're going to open it up, and hopefully they won't even have to get involved. I was like, Zach, you my guy, man. You know whose fault it was? It ain't their fault. The plumbing inspector does not give you your fire blocking. Do you have a uh, unit on the third floor that's down? Well, we just got the phone with the inspector. We're gonna see if we can get a, as is existing, like we can look at the existing okay. and see if that'll pass fire egress. Oh, no, it ain't city. You don't think? Nah, because any time I close open a wall, I'm calling them saying, hey, am I good to close right. the wall up? Right. A plumbing inspector cannot tell you you're good to close the wall. An electrical inspector cannot tell you you're good to close the wall. Mm -hmm. You need the health and safety inspector. So for me, I'm calling the health and safety inspector, say, hey, am I good to close Make this wall? Come and look at pieces, it. Yeah. yeah, not the plumbing inspector. Hey, you look good, man. You just get your hair cut? No. Really? I always look this good. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta leave soon though. I gotta go get my eyes checked, man. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. That's, 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 <laughs> well, thanks, brother. I'll come see you before I bounce out of Absolutely. here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. Thank you, brother. How, you gonna be here for a minute? I will. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, brother. This is why I gotta run my own projects, man. Ugh. Housekeeping. What we're gonna do is we're gonna look up inside here. There's nothing in here, man. There's nothing in here, brother. This whole cavity here is not fire block. I'm not here to blame anybody today. I'm just here to get this stuff resolved, move on. We're gonna be all in for this hotel for 12 million. It's probably gonna be worth in between 22 and 27 million dollars when we're done. So you guys may look at problems and say, oh my God, I'm glad I'm not here, I'm not. Hey man, I don't care nothing about them. I care about getting to this money. So today we gotta go up here, 35 rooms, it was closed up. I got my feeling of whose problem it was. Me blaming the contractor is not gonna fix the problem which I really feel like that's where the, the problem lies. I even asked him, did we get our fire blocking inspection? Yeah. Well, no, you didn't. Now you said what? So when you buy a rental property, man, don't expect everything to always be seamless. The bigger the property is, the bigger the mistakes can compound. We up here at this hotel, man, y'all see my morning, waking up, craziness, and I don't care nothing about that. 
What I care about is my kids and great, great, great grandkids don't have to worry about money anymore because of the things that I'm doing that I'm dealing with. So follow me. Now we make it sure that we know which ones are the double walls, right? Yeah. What we're doing, guys, is um, they came in and they said that the, the wet walls here, they signed off on it and told us we could close them up. Then when we got to close it up, the city came back in and said, well, we don't necessarily know. So now we gotta take all this apart. Brand new hotel room. We're gonna take all this down. We can take this down without tearing it up though, right? Fine. Then we gotta pop this panel off here. Now are we gonna be able to get in without, how are we gonna do it without damaging the wallpaper here? Razor knife. You're gonna do a razor knife, but how you still have to get a pry bar behind here. We've already got one already done. Purple board, mm -hmm. that's a fire rated board. What's that mean? That's fire rated. So what's that mean? That means you don't have to take it out. Yeah, you do. Why? Because. You have one that's open, I can show you why. Not all the way open, no. Okay. The reason why is because you have the chase inside the wall, right? This here is not fire rated. Right, that's what the ring's for. That's what the ring's for. Is the ring sit on the outside or the inside? It sits on the outside, slides in. I'll show you when I get drawn to What you're saying, and I agree with you, is that it doesn't matter what's inside there because nothing's going to get there. We got our fire rating right here, right? right? But we got enough days, enough labor. We can have all these torn out and put back together in five days. That's what I'm doing. I'm just saying, like, waste more time. I, two weeks ago, that's what I said. Let's just tear it out. It, it, it ain't that big of a deal, right? We run in 10 labor guys for five days, right? It just is what it is. Yep. You got to put this drywall on the bottom, toggle ball, or toggle, toggle ball your sleeve. We gotta do it where we can pop the panel back in place. Oh yeah, do that so you can inspect. Once you inspect it, when we do the third floor, we'll close that hole up. Yeah, but we can't have all the rooms offline right now. I understand that. So every one of them got a hole in the ceiling anyways. Well, okay, so most of them already got a panel where yeah. you can access that. Okay. We should have never closed them walls up without getting them signed no, off on no, a fire inspection. No, we shouldn't. You know, and I asked that too on the conference call. Did we get the fire blocking done? They said, yeah. No, you didn't. You just said, well, it was, it, close it up. You can't. You gotta have a guy say, man, you're good to close up the wall. Oh, yeah. I'm so upset right now. I'm tired of driving up here to Columbus, man. It's an hour and a half each way. It, it, it just... <sighs> Whenever you close up a wall, you have, you have to fire block. I don't understand. What kind of idiot don't know you got a fire block? Guess what? It didn't get fire blocked. Hey, look, man, it's the blame game. Well, the city said, man, I don't care nothing about that. You've been doing construction. You know you do not close up a wall without getting a fire block inspection. I don't care if they said, well, the permits, they passed, and you didn't have to get that. I don't care. You ask the inspector, do I need to get this fire block? So now guess what, guys? Come here. Beautiful. Here's the problem right here. You don't have fire block. Look, I can feel the air coming out of there. You should not be able to feel air. Fire <laughs> thrives off air. It's just so frustrating. I'm not here to throw anybody under the bus, man, because it's not going to help get the job done. Here, let's do some math real quick, man. 35 floors, plus I'm giving six or seven away to the renovation guys. So I got 41 rooms times 110 a night times, we're going to be down 35 nights times, let's say we're running 65% occupancy. Out of $102,000, man. All because of one stupid mistake. We do a weekly call. I ask them. I said, hey, did we get the fire blocking inspection? Yeah, we got it. No, they didn't. They lied. And it's so upsetting, guys. And so right now, I know a lot of you guys would say, well, soon, do this, do that. Look, man, I ain't got time to do that. I got to get these rules back in order. I ain't got time to do that. So sometimes, man, you just have to eat stuff with them, keep moving forward. So we're going to get this thing finished. At the end of this project, we stand to have a $10 million check. We thought we were going to make about $4 million off of it, maybe five. But the market turned. We knew this was a hot market. Now it looks like we're going to make 10 million. So our real effective loss is probably only 20, 15, 20 grand in rooms. But even if we would have took this one and got this one back online, we would have had to take the one off below. So I'm just telling you guys how I'm thinking about this because I'm not. I'm trying not to get too angry or upset. It has pushed our deadline back from August. Now we're probably going to be September finishing this thing up. Now September hot season september and october were around ohio state university i need all my rooms man it's gonna be booming because this ain't the only problem i got today i got this wall here that 